self-driving cars. Okay. So Elevate, right? This is their third summit, and they're announcing their latest version of their self-driving car. And it's a car made by Volvo, and it allows Uber to install its own self-driving system. Now, ultimately, the idea is that Uber deploys its software and its network to bring autonomous vehicles into the mainstream, and at the same time, guys, of course, carve out a path to profitability. Now, Uber spends a lot of money on its drivers. They receive about 70% of each fare, and of course, there's a ton of incentives to recruit and incentivize them to motivate them and that reached a billion dollars last year so one of uber's biggest costs autonomy theoretically reduces this now but of course there are no shortages of challenges it's expensive there are a lot of well capitalized competitors in this space and of course regulations will need to catch up for uber specifically remember it suspended its entire pilot program for nine months after a tragic accident killed a pedestrian and just before its ipo though it secured a one billion dollar investment from softbank and key players in japan's auto industry valuing that autonomous driving unit atg at more than seven billion dollars guys I mean, regulation needs to cut, catch up. That's putting it lightly. <laughs> Where can they possibly use these cars if they were to roll out today? Well, they're being used in pilot programs. But my point with Uber, having to actually get out of the game for nine months and test them on the roads, that is so critical. That's what Waymo is doing. That's what a lot of the other self-driving car companies are doing. So in order to get regulations, you need those miles. You need to show how these cars are actually operating. Does this make it tougher for Uber in a, when they're in a position where they've been saying, oh, we rely on our drivers so much, they're great for us, we, we care about them, blah, 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 we care about you as we're trying to replace you? Yeah. Well, what they say, what has been the company line, and we'll talk to someone who knows knows this very well is that it won't replace drivers it will be on top of drivers so when <laughs> autonomous driving begins you'll have these like routes that are very commonly used and you'll need the drivers for the wider you routes. point out that uh, drivers are a huge cost and they are 70 percent of every fare that they bring in however the drivers are contractors they don't make any benefits or anything beyond that they bring their own cars and it's going to be really expensive to create a fleet of vehicles like this, too. When does that start to pay off? Big upfront capital expenditure. When is the point that that becomes profitable? That is a great point, right? Drivers right now are already one of Uber's biggest costs. They could become even bigger if regulation on that side requires them to be treated like employees and get benefits. Um, so when does it start to pay off? That's a good question. You could theoretically think that an autonomous vehicle fleet in terms of efficiency may be even more expensive than the drivers bringing in their own cars and driving these roads.